hi guys you're welcome back to dummy dimension channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft a halter neck bustier uh, blouse pattern with yoke if you're interested in seeing how to draft this pattern you should definitely watch the video from the beginning to the end and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel consider subscribing because on this channel i share a lot of sewing tutorials and pattern drafting so in today's video in order to get started i'm going to be making use of my basic bodies pattern that i have the video on on my channel already and as you can see i'm just gonna bring out my um basic bodies pattern from that video to show you that i actually traced out the pattern directly from that part uh, from that pattern as you can see everything is the same the only difference is my um on the bust line that i'm going to tell you about as we proceed um through this video okay so now this is my shoulder line my chest line this is my um bust point line this is the under bust and this is the waistline so the under bust is the only new line on this pattern that is different from the um, basic bodice pattern that i have already okay so in order to get started i am going to be taking my nipple to nipple measurement and divide it by two so whatever you have you are going to be placing it on your bust point line like this in my case my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two gives me 3.5 so i'm marking my 3.5 like so and i'm also going to mark it on my waistline like so okay and then i'm going to connect that into a straight line so the next thing i need to find the midpoint of this shoulder slope so measure it and find the midpoint so i found the midpoint by folding my uh, tape and from then you can connect those two points together like so so right here now is where my nipple is just to keep you in track so that's the position of your nipple and the next thing i'm going to do is i'll go to my waistline and i'm going to take one inch on both sides of that red line and that's going to be my dart intake line you can make yours 0.75 if you want but for me i'm taking one inch and on my underboss line i want my underboss area to go in a bit more so i will take um, 1.25 so i want it a bit more than what i took on my waistline so that's why i took one inch on the waistline and 1.25 on my underboss line and the next thing i'm going to come down from my nipple by 0.25 so just come down by 0.25 this is optional if you don't want that you can just keep that process i just like to do that so i can have i can eliminate the pointiness okay so after that is done then you can um connect the points like so so the reason why i came down by 0.25 for my nipple like i said was to eliminate the pointiness and also to give more room for your um bust if you don't want to do that it's okay you can skip so the next thing to do is to measure from this place to this place so basically from your nipple point to your under bust and that's going to give you the bust radius okay so measure whatever you have and transfer it onto this red line like this for me it's 2.5 so from that point you're going to be taking a 0.75 on both sides and that's going to be the dart intake for the upper part if you're um, drafting for someone with a bigger bust you can take one inch on both sides or you can take half inch if the person has really small cup so then you should connect both points to your um, nipple point like so and the next thing is to sketch out the sweetheart neckline and in order to do that i will go to my bust point line and i will come up by one inch that's just to show how deep or you know how low i want my sweetheart neckline to be then i'm going to draw the curve first with my free hand and then i will go in to smoothing it out with my um curved ruler okay if you want your sweetheart neckline to be really low you can come up by half inch or just 
you know whatever you want instead of one inch like I did so the next thing I'm just drawing a straight line from this point straight to my armhole area like so okay all right so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to be moving this chest line up by one inch okay and the reason why I'm doing that is because this is going to be a sleeveless top and because of that it's not going to be having a sleeve yeah so i don't want my sleeve you know my ammo to be so open so that's why i'm going to be moving my chest line up by one inch this again is optional if you don't mind having your ammo a little bit open then you can leave your chest line as it is but in my case i really want a, a really small ammo opening if that makes sense so that is why I'm going to be moving this chest line up by one inch you can move it up by 0 0.75 by 0 0.5 the choice is yours you can even leave it as it is but for me I'm going to be moving it up by one inch or oh, actually I ended up using 0 0.75 so I moved it up by 0 0.75 after marking the point then I'm going to draw out the line straight so this now is going to be my new chest line and i hope this is clear if it's a bit confusing you can just use your old chest line as it is the line that i put ch you can just use it as it is it may just mean you can have a bit of you know wideness at your um area that could be fine by some people but for me i just want it to be a bit tighter at that part okay okay so the next thing to do now is to start transferring the horizontal measurement and i'm going to be starting with my bust circumference and i'm going to be putting it on my chest line you can either put it on your new chest line or, or your old chest line if you put it on your old chest line you just need to extend the line to touch up with your new chest line okay it's still gonna be the same thing so i'm going to be putting my bust circumference divided by four so it gives me 8.25 and i'm marking that and then i'm going to be adding this dot allowance because we are taking it out we have to return it so whatever you have for your dot intake you should add it which I have done and next thing I'm going to be moving to my waist line and I'm going to be putting my waist circumference divided by 4 that gives me 6.5 and then as well I'm going to be adding the dart intake as well so I'm going to be adding the dart intake that I took on my under bust because it's the biggest um that so that i don't fall short of fabric so that's why i'm going to be taking this measurement so i'm using the underboss that which is 2.5 all together so i add that and then i'm going to be connecting the point together and like i said you need to extend the line to your new chest line okay so the next thing i'm going to be adding my uh, seam allowance of one inch you can add that on your fabric if you want but i'm adding it on my pattern okay so next so next i'm coming to this line and i'm going to be measuring the dart that i have here so just measure the space there and transfer it up uh, onto this part like this and the reason why we have to do that is because by the time we sew in the dart if we don't um, add that that allowance onto that red line like this then your yoke is not going to match up with your bodies okay so just measure and mark it like so and from that point you need to recreate your ammo curve so it's just like I'm recreating that green dotted curve that ammo curve okay so it's just like I'm recreating this curve up here so just go ahead and recreate that curve so next thing I'm going to my neckline and I have 3 inches by 3 inches on my neckline from the basic bodies. So I'm going to be coming up by 1 inch for the neck width and for the neck depth. So I will be left with 2 inches by 2 inches. And this is because my own neck is so thin. 
so i measured around my neck and i discovered that two inches by two inches is going to be perfect for me so that's why i am using two inches by two inches for this outer neck because i want it to really choke my neck okay if you if you're um drawing for someone that has a wider neck you may retain your three inches by three inches basic neckline or you can just come up by half inch that totally depends on the neck size of the person so next we need to create the halter effect and in order to do that you draw a line from this point all the way to this point and that's the point where this curve meets up with this line okay so you are going to be drawing the line from this neck point all the way there so just watch what i'm going to do and first i'm going to be using my free hand and then i go in with my curve ruler and i draw out the curve of my choice okay you can you know just a gen 2 curve all right so now this line is no longer necessary and that now is the altar um shape basically so we are almost done this is the end of the front so i'm just putting indication there to remind me that that uh, is meant to be cut on fold and that's my yoke this is my center front and this is my side okay and in order to eliminate the pointy corners i'm just smoothing out this curve um smoothing out the curved area as you can see and i also added half inch joining allowance to the down and now i cut out my panel so I'm just cutting out the dart area, cutting out the sides and separating the yoke as well. All right, so this is what the front panel looks like. And by the time we sew this dart together, like I said, it's going to match up perfectly with the yoke. All right, so in order to draft the back panel, I have my basic bodies for the back drafted out already as well here is my shoulder line and this is my chest line this is the new chest line from the front panel remember this is the chest line this is my uh, bust line and this is my waist line okay and again this is just the basic bodies uh, pattern back side from the basic bodies block video that i have on my channel you can check it out in the description box or at the end of this video okay so let's jump right to the drafting i'm going to start transferring my horizontal measurements and i will start uh, by placing my bust circumference on my chest line just like i did for the front panel uh, my bust circumference divided by four is 8.25 so that's the mark and then i'll go to my waistline and i will add my waist circumference divided by four i will mark it and then i'm going to be adding the dart allowance i have half inch on both sides for my dart so making one inch so i'm going to be adding that one inch as well on this side there is no dart getting to that point so i'm not going to be adding any allowance then i'm just going to go ahead and connect the line like so okay all right so next thing i'm going to be connecting from this point to this point in order to draw my back neckline all right so it's left to you to determine how low you want your back to be so you can draw it all the way to here you can draw it straight like this you can draw it all the way to here 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 it depends on you but for me i'm going to be using this point so i'm connecting from here not from here but here so from here i will be connecting with a slight curve like this and then i'm adding my allowances just like i did for the front i add a half inch at the top and half inch at the down and one inch at the side okay and as you can see that i have my zipper allowance which i'm going to be um working on right now in order to eliminate the zipper bulge okay so in order to do that i will um i will be coming in by half inch from this line from this line i'll come in by half inch inward okay you can take 0.75 if you have a really curvy back so from this edge as well i will come in by half inch as well so whatever you took maybe half half make sure you take the same thing if you use 0.75 you should use the same thing so then you should connect from that point all the way up 
if you watch my video a lot you know that i do this a lot in my videos so this shouldn't be new to you already but if you're new to this then of course you should know what i'm doing now you know yeah i'm teaching you now if you're new, new to it okay so from that point as well i will connect all the way to the edge of the paper i should connect all the way up actually but because i'm not using that um yoke for the back i don't have to connect all the way up i'm just stopping where necessary okay so now here is my new zipper allowance so that's basically it for the back panel this line is no longer necessary then i'm just gonna cut out my pattern and i'm slashing through the that as well so this is what my center back looks like i'm cutting two pieces and the side back two pieces as well and because this is a full video i'm gonna be showing you how to make the collar so for the collar i have a rectangular piece of paper which i'm just drawing a straight horizontal random line just to serve as my starting point and i'm also going to draw another random line which is going to be you know vertical line just random okay also a starting point then you you need to measure around your neck and whatever you have you should mark it mine is 12 so i mark my 12 and then i'm going to be adding two inches to that 12 that's uh two and a half inches actually so that's for overlap and i'm adding extra one inch for seam allowance so the reason why i added two and a half inches is because i want the collar to overlap and the extra one inch is for um, zip, um sewing allowance so at the up i'm taking three inches up so i took three inches on both sides as you can see and i'm going to be connecting this is very simple and straightforward so yeah i'm just transferring the measurement that i have down there up as well so everything can balance up then just go ahead and connect that to form your rectangle and then you can cut it's that simple so that's that's the color it's so simple i know if you're doubting that this is not going to work for the color then just hold on for the sewing tutorial for this video so you can see that it actually works because i've tested out this pattern and everything was fine so this is what my color is going to look like you know i measured three inches up so now i have one and a half inches after folding it into two and by the time i sew in my seam allowance of half inch on both sides i'm going to be left i'm going to be left with one inch which is going to be the height of my collar so the actual height of my collar is going to be one inch okay so here i'm going to be taking half inch you know to sew the color as well so that's basically it for this tutorial i hope you found it helpful if you have leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment for me in the comment section if you have any question let me know down below and subscribe to my channel already if you haven't and expect the sewing tutorial of this uh, pattern because it's coming up pretty soon on the channel so stay connected follow me on instagram at dummy dimension like my facebook page and also follow my second channel all things dummy until then i say bye